So my name is Kola Wale Downsey, and I'm the head of business development for Zitra Investments Limited. Basically, I would say first and foremost, you need the people factor before you go to the AI part of the divide because the people factor is what tells you particularly what is happening, what is the trend. It is a trend that you build your AI on, you understand. So AI comes in different interfaces, it comes on different platforms depending on what we use, you understand, particularly what we use in terms of what we, particularly as an organization, the platforms we use in-house, and then the platforms are probably, uh, I would say, supported outside there. So for us, I, what, what we do, because Zetra is big, you understand. So we have the asset management company and we have the microfinance bank. So what we do for each of the company has its own uniqueness. First and foremost, there's what we call KYC, which is regular with every financial institution in the country. And then also, when it comes to loans, two things involved. Number one, we're bringing in deposits. As we're bringing in deposits, how are we sure that the person bringing in this money, you understand, is not giving us funds that are proceeds of fraud or terrorist financing? You understand? So we have applications in place, such that your name on BVN gives you almost every details about you that we need to know. And then that way the human interface comes in. Now don't forget that this AI interface has helped to give us an overview of who you are. And then the next thing we go back and say, okay, the human interface now, this is what we're seeing based on the data available to us on this individual. What exactly do we want to do with it? Now, the second part of the AI, which deals more with the microfinance, is the loan angle. Now, for every individual you have to give a loan, there's something we call um, credit bureau that we, you know, we have to probably go to. I mean, we have to go to, not probably. We we'll go to and we we'll check your credit history. You understand? Coming back to this, there are other AIs that have been developed by the company. You understand, which is yet to be rolled out here for now. Basically, we're looking at launching our app before the end of um, August. And um, the app is going to be a very, very intelligent one. We intend building something that is a bit more robust, more relatively compared to what is obtainable in the industry today. It's going to have all the features you're looking at, you can find on any reasonable AI interface. You understand your face recognition, your fingerprints, and all those. Fine, you have quite a number of banks doing that right now. But we're looking at a situation where we're bringing in all these things together in one package, such that if you're blind, you won't be able to access it. As in, that's how, that's the details we have gone into in ensuring that we have these things on board and on stream. So but we believe that before the end of August, this platform will be out and we know it's going to be a shocker in the industry. First and foremost, data protection is something we take very seriously. Because just like any other financial institution, there's something we call oath of confidentiality. Now, this is signed by every staff of the organization. So at no point in time are you authorized to divulge any customer's information to third party. At no point in time. The company takes zero tolerance to that. You understand. And I want me to say that if information is not coming out from an insider, how can an outsider get access to that information? So for an outsider to have access to your information, I want to believe you must have given them some form of access to our platform that controls your account. And that way, oh, this person is probably going to be having that information. And then talking of the other angle, there is a lot that is ongoing that may not be able to let the cat out of the bag at the moment. But the truth of the matter is, for us at Zetra, we are customer-oriented. We're customer-centric. And we have to ensure, we do everything to the very last to ensure that every fund customer is given to us is secured and it's safe. Because it's only when you come to us and you're doing business and business is doing well, you understand, and you can come back and get your money at any time. That's the only time you'll be happy to say, oh, okay, let me go back and do business, etc. But the moment you put in money to collect your money is a problem. So we have quite a number of things coming up. In fact, we have AIs that we're even going to deploy to clients that such you can track your investments at every point in time without any necessary human interface. Not until you're ready to talk to an individual, you understand in the organization. So, so that's who we are and that's where we are at the moment.
It's a fantastic event, actually. It's an avenue and an opportunity for people to understand more of what's going on in the financial and the tech space. Or let me just say the financial industry. As little as it may, as it may seem, it, it gives a whole lot of information. I could pick one woman asking a question about, okay, I had this issue, I had this issue. And they couldn't, my money was lost. Now, I'm sure that with this kind of an event, she now understands the process. Now, because she understands the process, it's not going to be only her. She's going to probably educate people around her. And that is how this events, you understand, in ripple effects, it's going to affect quite a number. So I feel it's a fantastic event. It's a lovely one. And it's nice to be here. So I've been a fan of Business Day from Ground Zero. So let's not even go there because I can talk from now to tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> I read the dailies every time.